Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another Redbird Vintage Box unboxing. It's a little bit different this month because instead of getting one of the subscription boxes like I usually do, I actually have a dress that I got from their closet clean out, which I'm very excited to unpack and see if it fits me and everything. And then they also, this past month, had like bulk boxes you could get. And so I got a bulk box of different scarves, and they're just like 10 randomly selected scarves that they sent. So I have no idea what kinds of scarves they sent me. They might be like all 90s Versace style knockoff scarves, which I think are really ugly, honestly. Or it could be really cute ones. I don't know. So we'll be finding that out together. Okay, so we'll start off with the dress, which I already took out of its packaging, but as you can see, it's still wrapped up in the signature Redbird Vintage pink tissue paper and red ribbon and their cute little card. All right, so let's see what this dress looks like. Oh, this is super cute. So it's this really fun 1970s mod polyester dress. Cute, I really like, you know, I don't usually like polka dots, but I do like it, them on this. I think this will be really fun. Um, I just, I love the bright colors of 1970s dresses. I am learning, though, that as much as I love the way that these dresses look, I wish that they were made out of, like, not just completely plastic. So that's definitely something that I'm, like, learning as I get more and more into vintage clothes. So I might have to start making some, like, 1970s style dresses myself out of, like, more natural fibers. Or, um get some slips or something to wear underneath these so I don't have this rough plastic against my skin. But this is really, really cute. I like this a lot. Okay, so now we have the random lot of scarves. Again, I have no idea what kinds of scarves they sent me. If there are ones that I don't like, I'll probably donate them or, I don't know, sell them someplace. So we'll see. Okay, so usually with scarves, when I do my scarf subscription, I'll, like, I have a book of how to tie scarves. Um, I'm not going to do that. Oh, dropped some. I'm not going to do that today, honestly, just because it makes videos take a little bit longer to edit and I'm feeling lazy and I don't really want to take the extra time with that. So we're just going to go through all of these and then maybe later on I'll just make a how to tie scarves video just by itself or something. Okay, so this was a lot of scarves that I got for $30 and it's 10 randomly selected scarves in there. So... We'll see what I got. All right, so here's the first one. It's this red, white, and blue scarf that says Paris in the corner. This is cute. This will be a really like a nice one to either just tie around my neck or I use scarves like this for hair scarves a lot. And I don't think I have any that's quite in this color scheme. Um, so that'll be really nice to have. So that's number one. Number two, oh, this is interesting. At first, I wasn't so sure about it because um, it's kind of like it's very 90s, but I like these colors a lot. And I think that, yeah, I like to use scarves like this and I braid it in my hair and then put it up on top of my head. Um, and this will be nice for when I'm wearing like deeper colors like this brown or black or burgundy that are in... That are the colors in this scarf. Okay, that's number two. And the third one, ooh, I like this a lot already. Okay, this one is definitely the most in my style so far of all of them. It's this really pretty pink and orange and red and white scarf, kind of sheer, but this will be one that will definitely be nice as a hair scarf for when I'm wearing kind of my 60s and 70s clothes. So, like that one a lot. Okay, I think this is number four. Oh, interesting. Not quite sure what to think of this one. It's 100% silk, which is nice, not polyester. Um, it's, I don't know, it's this bright hot pink and lime green and has some brown on it. I don't know. I think this is one that, like, worn, like, in a way that I can really see all the design isn't really going to work for me. But 
if I like roll it up like this and then use it as a hair scarf so you can just see kind of like little bits of pink and green popping through, it'll work really well. Okay, so that was number three. Next one, ooh, this is interesting. I love this. This one is really, really cool. So it's a long sheer scarf and I really like the colors on it. Some purples and greens and blues, but I love it has these little fish. It has these fish and lily pads and wave patterns. I really like this one a lot. I got some brooches from Redbird Vintage a few months ago that would also work with this, and I have my weird fish jumpsuit, so if I ever want to go full-on Miss Frizzle at the aquarium, this will work perfectly. <laughs> okay, I've lost count, but this is the next one they sent me. Ooh, this is really cool. So this is, it kind of gives me some 70s energy just because of the colors in it, but it's really pretty red and brown and gold and this kind of cream color. I like this one a lot. This will be really, really fun to put in my hair. Okay, so that's that one. Next scarf is this one here. It says it's made in Japan. It's a nylon one. Oh, this is nice. It's just a simple sheer yellow with kind of a brown checker pattern on it. So. Nothing super fancy, but still good to have some kind of basic scarves in your collection. So there's that. Okay, and then this is, this is fun too. It's another sheer scarf. Nice and long, and it's hot pink with some white polka dots on it. So this will be fun to put in my hair as well, to add a little pop of color. Cool, I like that a lot. Uh-oh, this scarf, remember how I said I didn't, I was hoping that there weren't any 90s scarves with chains and stuff on it? Uh-oh, I got one. I don't know why, I know a lot of people really like scarves like this, but I don't know, they're just, they're not my jam. They're not my jam, everybody. Um, But that's okay, whenever you get a lot of things like this, you never know what's going to be in there, and so... I don't know, maybe I will learn to appreciate this, or I will just, I don't know, use it to wrap a present for somebody at some point or something like that. Okay, so there's that one, and then this is the very last one, and I can tell it's a really big scarf. Ooh, this is, okay. So this is huge. It's gigantic. Like, I can't even fit all of it in frame. It's so big. Um... This is interesting. It's got like, so it's still in like the same kind of era for scarves that I'm not usually a huge fan of, but since it's so big, it kind of makes up for that. It has some really interesting designs on it. Like this is a horse and carriage. Well, not horse, but it's a carriage, like very Cinderella. So this is also not typically my style, but I think I might be able to work with this. This would be nice as like a wrap or something. Might even honestly be able to use this as some fabric to make something out of. There's enough of it, but cool. So that's the last scarf. All right, everybody, that's all we've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please comment down below and let me know which scarf you liked the most. And if you want to stick around. That'd be great. I typically put out videos, hope, like I try every week. It doesn't always happen, but I put out videos pretty frequently. I have Redbird unboxings like this, but also other vintage style related things, some DIY, some sewing, sometimes some music. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. All right. Bye, everybody.